What's going on? We back. Motor City Sports Talk. We in the building. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. One time for the one time. And um, if you didn't know, now you know the, the Dallas Cowboys traded for uh, Oakland Raider receiver Amari Cooper. Um, yeah. Okay, and I got into an argument with a few Cowboy fans. I knew a lot of these guys for like years, like 10 years on in around that time. And a couple of them were telling me that um, Amari Cooper was would be the best receiver on the um, <laughs> on the Detroit Lions. And in my opinion, I believe uh, Amari Cooper wouldn't even crack our top three. All right? A lot of people, you know, Cowboy fans are some of the most idiotic fans I've ever run across. And there's some idiot Lion fans out there, man. Some of you guys are just straight idiots. I've ran across you plenty of times, so I, I'm going to got to call a spade a spade, all right? Um, but, you know, what I'm saying, man, is, is straight. That's just straight real, man. Amari Cooper was good his first two years in the NFL, um, especially the year, I guess, Derek Carr went uh, nutty buddy, you know what I'm saying? But he's never caught over uh, – he never caught 10 touchdowns. For a guy that's 6'1", that's a bigger receiver, run a 4'4", Physical freak, he is uh, 24 years old, and that's where the the silver lining is with him um, at his age. But you know, when I see I see him uh, uh, play, and if John Gruden give up on you, I mean, he can see because he consistently drops the ball. And then let me give you uh, an idea of uh, you know what he looked like this season compared to Kenny Galladay. He has 22 catches. 280 yards, 12.7 yards of catch, 36 is long, one catch, uh, one touchdown catch for this year. Now, if you just look at Kenny Galladay, which is perceived to be our third best receiver, um, he has 29 catches, 465 yards, six, 16 yards per catch, 60 yards is his long, and three touchdowns. And this is a guy versus a guy who's been in the NFL for about uh, – for about four years, you know what I'm saying, um, and I mean, you just, you just look at, a lot of people live off reputation, he came out of Alabama, you know, he was good his first two years, he made the Pro Bowl, but obviously, I like all our receivers better than Martin Cooper, let me know if I'm crazy, you know what I'm saying, I don't watch a lot of Raider games, but when I do watch some of their games on Monday night, last last year was a Thursday night, um, he was hot garbage, you know, Hot garbage, man. I mean, this dude, you know, Derek Carr. I mean, is it Derek? Yeah, Derek Carr has no faith in him at all. <laughs> no faith in at him at all. In his first couple of years, he was pretty good. His rookie year, you know, he uh, he plays. He started uh, fifteen games, played all sixteen, um, scored six touchdowns, caught seventy two balls for a buck for thousand seventy yards. His second year, he came back, um, played sixteen games, started fourteen. Um, had the same amount of targets, basically 130 the first year, 130 the second, 132 the second year, caught 83 balls, had, uh, uh, a thousand, uh, a thousand, 153 yards, um, and five touchdowns. Since then, he's had, uh, last year he had 48 yards, I mean, 48 catches for 680 yards. Kenny Galley almost already got that already, um, with seven touchdowns, um, and then this year, I already talked about this year type of stats, man. I'm not impressed, man. I'm not impressed. I know everybody looking at him saying, oh, yeah, he got potential. It could be Derek Carr. It could be Derek Carr. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it ain't him. But Jordy Nelson seemed to be doing okay over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I see Jordy Nelson had a pretty couple of pretty good games. But I just don't – when I watch him play, I'm not – I don't see it. I see the physical talent. I remember he put all that weight on uh, before uh, before last season. He lifted weights and looked jacked, and he came out there weak. You know, this this dude, you know, and then it ain't like he going from, like, Derek Carr to, like, Tom Brady or Drew Brees or Aaron Rodgers. This dude going from one bus driver to another bus driver. You know what I'm saying? From Derek Carr, who been a bus driver this year, seems to be overpaid. They're looking to move him. He ain't what John Gruden thought he was. To Dak Prescott, a guy that refuses to throw the ball beyond the yard market. Now, he had a deep throw to – um. Michael Gallup, he did some deep throws to Dez, you know, you know, you know, when Dez was there two years ago, last year Dez didn't do much. Um, but I just I just don't see him being better than Galladay. I'm just preparing him to Galladay. I'm damn sure I know he's not better than Marvin Jones. I know Marvin Jones ain't had the best year this year. 
But um, I still take him over Marvin Jones. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Marvin Jones is probably dealing with an injury this year from training camp that he never recovered from. I can tell you that. And that's the problem with him. But give me Marvin Jones, you know. He's more athletic. He got better hands. And Mark Cooper ain't that good. He, he wasn't worth a first-round draft pick, man. Not close. Not close at all. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and this year, like I said, he got 22 catches for 281 touchdown, okay? Um, Marvin Jones, who ain't been that good this year, he has uh, 19 catches for 270, but he got three touchdowns. And and also, Amari Cooper is the should be the vocal point of the Raiders. I know Jordy Nelson is pretty good, but other than Jordy Nelson, Marcellus Bryant it, it ain't been doing nothing. Seth Roberts ain't been doing nothing. I mean, uh, Marvin Jones is competing with Theo Reddick. He competing with Marvin Jones. I mean, he competing with Golden Tate. He competing with Kenny Galladay. He competing with T.J. Jones. He competing with the uh, with uh, with Carryon Johnson with carries now. So it ain't like he's just getting fed all the care all the touches. You know what I'm saying? But like I said before, like I said before, you know what I'm saying? Mari Cooper, you know, he better live up to expectations with Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Or them Dallas fans going to be real, real butthurt about what he brings to the table. Because you ain't got a quarterback that's going to throw nobody open. That's what Dad's problem was. Tony Romo knew how to throw uh, receivers open. If if it ain't completely there for Dez, for Dak Prescott, Dak Prescott is not going to take that chance. He's not a gunslinger. He's a... He's a He's a, a safety guy. You know, he's a safety first type quarterback. You know, it got to be completely there for him to throw it to you. If you won't get that separation or if you ain't open enough, or you know, and it's over with. I mean, that's what the problem with Dez, man. Dez, even though Dez is covered, he didn't believe, he didn't want, he didn't have faith in Dez to catch the ball and, 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 and do what he needs to do. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, man, you know, let me know what you think. Do you think Amari Cooper is better than any three of our receivers? Don't approach it like a fan. Just tell me what you think. If you haven't seen Amari Cooper play, that's fine. You know, you ain't missing much of nothing. <laughs> I mean, this was this was another classic Raiders draft pick of drafting a, a guy that had all the physical attributes up high but can't play the position. He can't catch. You know what I'm saying? He can't catch. You know what I'm saying? Can't run routes. You know, he line up in the slot a lot. He, I mean, they try to put him in a slot outside, you know, just looking at the tape and looking at him. He ain't that good of a uh, player. You know, that's just my personal opinion there. Um, I think he's vastly overrated. And, you know, the Cowboy fans going to vastly overrate him. But I don't think he better than any three of our receivers. You know what I'm saying? And that's just my personal opinion. Now, it could be Derek Carr. And we'll see. It ain't like you're going from Derek Carr to, to, to uh, Warren Moon. You're going from Derek Carr to the bus driver himself, Dakota Prescott. You know what I'm saying? Bus driver. Who got the keys to my bus? Vroom, vroom. You know what I'm saying? But let me know what y'all think. Let me know you think Amari Cooper is better than any three of the Lions receivers. Motor City Sports Talk. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All those links are in the description. Shout out to everybody that's holding us down. If you want to make a donation to the page, I appreciate it. That link is there as well. Want to know where we get our instrumentals from? That link is there as well. Um, got a video request, DM me on all social media platforms, mainly Twitter and Facebook. You can DM me on, DM me, DM me on there and I'll try to get to your video request or you can at tweet me as well. And I'll get back at you. Motor Street Sports Talk. Y'all know what it is. We out.